I've said over and over again on this channel that GPA isn't that important when it comes to getting an actuarial job. So what I say in this video might surprise you a little bit because actually if you are in school right now, I would recommend that you focus more of your time and energy on your GPA rather than your actuarial exams if you don't have time for both. If you're in school right now, you can probably relate to me as a student. I felt like I had absolutely no time to fit in everything I needed to. There was schoolwork, actuarial exams, fitness, family, work. It was really hard to juggle all of these things and at certain points I felt like a failure because I was trying to do so much that I never did anything to the best of my ability. I failed actuarial exams, I got low grades, I didn't spend much quality time with friends and family. I was trying to study while I was at work. So if you can relate to any of this, if you are in this situation right now or you think you might be in the future, then this video is for you. I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community where we help future actuaries just like you to become top candidates and get their first actuarial dream job all without an internship. Okay, so yes, it is possible to get an actuarial job with a low GPA. I've said that many times before. Mine was a 2.3 and I still got an actuarial job, but that's not really the approach I would recommend you take if you don't have to because GPA definitely is something that employers are going to look at when they decide whether they're going to interview you or not. And unfortunately, you do not get a second chance at your GPA. It sticks with you. So if you have a good GPA, you're going to be eligible for more internship opportunities and more job opportunities after graduation. And that's because some employers, unfortunately, will automatically decline anyone that has a GPA below 3.0 or sometimes 3.2. They can be picky like that because there are so many great candidates for most actuarial positions that they can choose to pick the best of the best. So really, that right there is the number one reason that GPA should be your focus if you have to decide between that and exams. You can pass actuarial exams after you graduate if you need to, but you cannot change your GPA after you graduate. And also, actuarial employers really don't care when you pass your exams. You could pass them during school, you could pass them after graduation, you could pass them during your internship, you could pass them during summer holidays, that's fine. It's not going to decrease your chances of getting an actuarial job just because you decided to pass your exams after you had already graduated. And other future actuaries do this all the time. Actually, it's fairly common to pass actuarial exams after you graduate because not everyone realizes that they want to be an actuary while they're still in school. So they end up taking exams after they've graduated and that's totally fine. Keep in mind though that some actuarial internships will want you to have passed at least one actuarial exam. I don't think I've said actuarial enough in this video. Some of them will want you to pass an exam, but not all of them. I got my first first internship without any exams passed and it was during that internship that I passed my first exam. So it is definitely possible. You just have to show employers that you are a great candidate in other ways and they may choose to hire you despite not having any exams passed. This focus on GPA rather than exams is actually even more important if you are in Canada at one of the CIAs, the Canadian Institute of Actuaries accredited universities. And that's because you may be actually eligible to get credit for some of your exams just by getting high enough grades in certain courses. And by the way, for those of you in the US, a very similar program is coming to the Society of Actuaries later this year, and you'll have to be part of one of their centers of actuarial excellence. So this means that if you focus on your grades, you may actually be able to get exam credits at the same time as getting a great GPA. And it's like killing two birds with one stone, even though I don't really like that saying. By the way, if this video has been helpful for you so far, please give it a thumbs up or comment down below so that it can spread to more future actuaries. I would appreciate that so, 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 so much. Okay, now remember, if you are someone that has a lower GPA, that's totally fine. It's not the end of the world. You will still be able to get an actuarial job, but you might just have to do some things to compensate for that. Honestly, when I talk on this channel about becoming a top actuarial candidate, GPA doesn't come into it at all. Because if you are a top candidate, you already have the qualification that actuarial employers are really looking for. So despite the fact that some employers might turn you down because of a low GPA, many will not. Many employers do understand that things happen during school. GPA doesn't always tell the whole story. And those are the employers that you have to find. And those are the ones that are going to be most likely to hire you. And now if you are a future actuary in school right now, trying to juggle all of these different responsibilities, you might be feeling like you're a little bit behind, like your peers are doing better than you, like they're becoming qualified 
qualified quicker than you. So if that is the case, then you have to go watch this video right here that explains exactly why that actually isn't such a bad thing at all. That is all for this video. I will see you next week. Bye for now.